Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we have got green and purple right triangles. As you can see in this diagram, such that they are perpendicular to each other. And moreover, this line segment AB is 4 units. This line segment BD is 12 and this line segment BE is 6 times square root of 5. And now we are going to find this distance AC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video lecture, I am going to share with you two different approaches. In first one, we are going to use the geometry. And in the second method, we are going to use the trigonometry. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this green right triangle BDE. And we are going to calculate this length DE. And since this is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Always keep in your mind that the longest leg, which is hypotenuse, is going to be our side c. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So I'm going to write down 12 square plus uh, d e square equal to c, in our case is 6 times square root of 5 whole square and now let's focus on this part on the right hand side and here I have copied it down and let me show you how we're going to take the square of this thing 6 square is going to be 36 time this square and square root unto each other we got times 5 36 times 5 is 180 so therefore in the next step 12 square is 144 and on the right hand side I have replaced this one by 180. Now let's go ahead and subtract 144 from both sides. This is gone. So we got DE square equals to on the right hand side. If we subtract, we're going to get 36. Let's take the square root on both sides. This square and square root is gone. So our DE length turns out to be positive 6 and now since this length DE represents the distance so this must be positive no wonder I wrote down positive 6 so thus our this side length DE turns out to be 6 units and here's our next step this time we are going to use geometry and now let's focus on this purple triangle first let me go ahead and call this angle alpha and this angle I am going to call beta. Then these two angles are going to be called complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. And we can see over here this angle is 90 degrees. And we know that the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, is going to be 90 degrees. Now let's focus on this angle. This is a 90 degrees angle. And we know this whole straight angle is 100 and 80 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be beta since alpha and beta are complementary angles and now let's focus on this green right triangle we have this 90 degree angle this angle is beta then this angle has got to be angle alpha since alpha and beta are complementary angles so thus we conclude that these two triangles, the green triangle and this purple triangle, are similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity property. So therefore, we are going to have some proportions. Let's go ahead and equate these ratios. I'm going to write down AC divided by AB. Let me go ahead and write down AC divided by AB equals to this BD divided by DE. 
So let's go ahead and write down B D divided by D E. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A C divided by A B in our case is 4 equals to B D in our case is 12 divided by D E is 6. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 4. This 4 and 4 cancels out. So therefore our AC length turns out to be 8 units and that's our answer. So thus our this side length AC turns out to be 8 units. And here's the next step. This time we are going to use the trigonometry. Now let's focus on this purple triangle. And now let's look at this Soka Toa table. We can see that our tangent angle equals to opposite over adjacent. In our case, our opposite tangent of alpha, if we focus on this angle alpha, then this side is going to be our opposite and this side is going to be our adjacent. So therefore we can write tangent of this angle alpha equal to AC divided by this adjacent is 4. Let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 1 and now let's focus on this green triangle and this is our angle beta then this side is going to be our opposite and this side is going to be our adjacent. So therefore our tangent of beta equals to opposite over adjacent means 6 divided by 12. And now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 2. And now here is our next step. We know that alpha and beta are complementary angles. Then tangent of alpha could be written as cotangent of beta as long as alpha and beta are complementary angles. Now you might be wondering how did we get to this uh, conclusion. Let me show you pretty quick. And here are our co-function identities. We can see that tangent of theta is equal to cotangent of 90 minus theta since we are dealing with the angle alpha so I can write tangent of alpha equals to cotangent of 90 minus alpha and now we know that alpha plus beta equals to 90 degrees if I move this alpha on the right hand side so beta could be written as 90 degrees minus alpha. So now I am going to replace this 90 minus alpha over here by this beta. So therefore on this right hand side this become cotangent of beta and on the left hand side tangent of alpha. No wonder I wrote down tangent of alpha equals to cotangent of beta. Now let's go ahead and tweak this equation. So tangent of alpha I'm going to leave it left hand side and cotangent of beta could be written as 1 over tangent of beta. Now we know that tangent of alpha is AC divided by 4 from equation 1 and tangent of beta is 1 over 2 from this equation 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So on the left hand side this is AC divided by 4 equals to 1 divided by 1 over 2. And now the right hand side 1 divided by 1 over 2 could be written as just 2 by using this fact. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 4. So this 4 and 4 is gone. So our AC value turns out to be 4 times 2 is 8 units and that's our answer. So thus our distance AC turns out to be 8 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.